remember I said in that slide, went back earlier, right, that um, if you don't know what the problem is and who's got the problem, right, in commercialisation Australia we look for the value proposition and we look for the project methodology to deliver it. Well, a bit, a, you know, business plans a project methodology, the true sense of the word. So starting with something that's important. I've never read a business plan through, ever. I know that's a terrible thing to say for a gentleman that's in the back part of his years, but I'll turn to the back page, right, because I'll generally read the financials first. And then I'll go and read the exec summary. If the exec summary is only more than half a page, right, I won't read the rest at all. I will do this, okay, seriously. And if I see a chart or something, I've got a 10 set to pull it out and go, oh, have a look at this. There might be a competitor matrix or you know, lots of ticks and crosses and competitors identified and feature sets and all that type of thing. But starting a business plan always gets me going when somebody opens up the first page by defining the problem. And, you know, this is a really hard thing to do. I think it's even harder than writing the business plan because it's like writing a book without a theme or a plot or characters or, or whatever. You know, it's a very difficult thing to do. Now, this is a really important point because this is what a lot of people don't do when they're putting their pitch together. They kind of, they do what they know they can do when it comes to the basic secondary research. All right, secondary research is sitting out doing a Google. That's secondary research, right? Put in a question, you know, uh, automated business plans, you know, uh, Microsoft Office 5 or whatever, right? Write it. Um, and up they come and uh, off you go and you maybe you make a little matrix to say, these are the bits that I think I do better than the other guys, you know, and you get a little bit of independent testing done, all right? But where you went is the most critical part of what a panelist or an investor or an analyst looks at, right? And they can tell how much you know about your subject by where you went. Aussies particularly really struggle to do quality market research. 99.9% .9 of all investment opportunities die because of the way people do their market research. It's as simple as that, it's just not deep enough. The three things that count the most, the problem, who's got it, right, seriously, who's got it, and it's very important to articulate who's got it, not Mr Tourism, or Mr and Mrs Tourism, okay, um, and the solution, you know, keep it simple. And, and the more it's relative, people can understand the feature sets of what your solution is. Don't go deep into the tech of it, all right? So practice, practice on the wife, practice on the kids, practice on your mates, right? Seriously, the only place most Aussie men go is down the pub, you know, or the footy game, you know, and when somebody says to you, know, so what do you do? Well, what I'd really like to do is the following, right? In finance terms, we call that three F, friends, family, and affectionately, fools. It's a wonderful form of finance. Wage rates, you know, practice guys and practice. Practice till people, right, ask you questions that deliberately show what they've understood, what you've told them, okay? That makes sense. Because if they ask you questions that don't make sense, then you're not articulating very well at all. Just practice, that's all there is.